Hey everyone, today I want to talk about uh, just a little knee evaluation here and I uh, want to thank Lenora for being our patient and for uh, letting us demonstrate this. Now Lenora had an injury about five to six weeks ago where she was playing basketball, she pivoted and had kind of like a giving way type of sensation. Did you hear a snap or a pop or anything like that? I heard like a little pop. Okay, like a small pop, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, did it swell right away or did it take a little while for it to swell? It took a little while. Okay, so and it just progressively swelled more. Yeah. Um, right after this happened, we took a look at her. So it's been a while. She's been in therapy for a bit. Um, she had a very flexed knee posture. She had a lot of swelling in the knee and uh, just a, a lot of effusion in there. The knee was very warm compared to the other side, okay? So now we're about uh, three weeks into therapy, three to four weeks into therapy, and she's doing significantly better. But I just want to go through this evaluation so you can get some, kind of like some idea on how I evaluate patients and um, how I kind of piece this together to try to get to a diagnosis to make a decision on where to go from here. Um, so first things first, uh, I like to just kind of feel the knee and when I do, her right knee is warmer than her left, okay, so it tells me that there's a little synovitis going on in there. I then like to do a brush test. Early on, she had a very positive brush. Now it's very hard to distinguish, but there's just a little bit of fluid that comes through when I brush her, okay? Um, I look at patella mobility, and as I do that, I pull her out laterally to see if there's any sense of apprehension, and she doesn't have that. Um, and then I will palpate around the kneecap, we're not really tender around the kneecap, are we? Okay. Next thing I like to do is just take a look at motion. So she's able to straighten it out, which she's just been able to do in the last couple of weeks. Uh, so she's able to straighten it, but I'm going to give her a little bit of hyperextension. And does that hurt? Mm -hmm. Okay. And where does that hurt? Can you put a finger on it? Right kind of right on the inside of the knee joint. Okay. Now I'm going to have her bend the knee. And we're going to see how far we get. Right and then we got a little snap there. I'm not too concerned about that just yet. Um, where does that hurt when you feel it? Kind of on the inside also. Okay, so next thing I like to do once we have her, uh, you know, we, we she has pretty good range of motion, a little bit of pain at the end range of extension, a little bit of pain at the end range of flexion. Um, she has some slight effusion, it's slightly warm. Um, I wanna check her ACL, PCL, and um, her collaterals. Uh, so I want you to relax that leg. We're just going to check out her ACL. I want you to let it go. And I get a very definitive click, 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 click. That sounds really good. We're going to do a posterior drawer. So we're just going to sit here. That is nice and solid. I get a nice end point. We get a little click with that also. If I wanted to do it quickly and couldn't get her into that position, we don't see a sag here. Okay, so that is good. We're going to check her medial collateral, medial capsule. So at zero degrees of extension, I'm going to give her, okay, I'm going to flex her a little bit. Now that is the MCL. Any problems there? Okay. We're going to take that leg off the edge of the table, keep her in full extension. We're going to do the lateral capsule. Any problems there? And we're going to do the lateral collateral. We're going to flex the knee about 25, 30 degrees. Test her again. No instability, no pain with that. Okay, good. So the next thing I like to do here is She's complaining about pain in this area, so I'm going to go look for her plica, okay? Not likely that this would have been a problem from a twist, twisting and pivoting type of problem. And I feel a little like piece of al dente spaghetti in there, okay? That's not too bad, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna palpate a little bit. So I'm gonna find her, her tibial tubercle, I'm gonna follow her patella tendon, any problems with that, mm -hmm. okay? And then I'm gonna get her tibial plateau and I'm going to follow that inward and you let me know if you have any pain with that right, there. right here okay so right in that joint line how about here not so bad but more in the front mm -hmm. okay which would make sense if she had pain with hyperextension of the knee um, when we're testing her I'm going to find that lateral tibial plateau and I'm going to go out to this side any problems with that one no problems there we don't have any pain in the back of the knee no problems up there, so no Baker cyst or anything like that. Popliteus is not painful, okay? So the next thing I want to do is, because she has medial joint line pain, per her report, she has pain with hyperextension, some medial joint line discomfort, I need to be thinking um, medial meniscus tear possibly, 
Plus she has the effusion, which could come from a meniscal tear too. And um, that also leads to that lack of extension, you know, when she was walking early on. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put a little pressure on it while I flex her and I extend her, okay? Now some people like to do a straight up McMurray's. I prefer uh, putting a very stress on the knee and flexing and extending it so that we're compressing that meniscus um, as we're doing it. So we're going to bend the knee while we put a little, just a little bit of a varus pressure on this. Now, any pain with that? Just a little. A little bit, okay. And as I'm extending her, I'm putting her a little varus and right there, there was a very definitive pop right there. And it hurts, doesn't it? I apologize. And so as we continue through, not too bad. So we just put some pressure on that medial meniscus. We stressed it, it popped, and it was painful. Your knee never locks up completely, right? Because if it did, she would go you know, right to an orthopedist and have that checked out. Um, now we're gonna put a little bit of a valgus stress on the knee while we extend her and flex her. No problem like the other direction. Okay, and it's very, very clean. Um, so I have to be very suspicious that she has a medial meniscus tear. Uh, she's going to be having an MRI real soon and uh, to hopefully to uh, confirm that or, or hopefully it's not that. We also want to make sure it's not like a chondral lesion, which could be a little more serious. Um, and at that point, you know, follow up with uh, orthopedics and um, get her checked out and make sure that uh, we're ready to go. She's progressively doing better. We're not doing any side to side motions right now or pivoting. Um, because that just kind of flares her up really easily. Everything is straight plane, working on getting her quad strong, calf strong, hamstring strong. We're working on her glutes, really working her hard, but making sure that we don't irritate that meniscus. So that's our little knee evaluation today. And thank you, Lenora, very much for being our subject today. Thank you all for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you uh, liked our video today and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.